Hello friends, in the previous ASP.NET Core video tutorial, we had created different ASP.NET Core projects. In this video tutorial, we will go through the project's files and folders. So first, let's see the difference between the projects that we have created. The ASP.NET MVC is used to create web applications that return both views and data. But the ASP.NET Web API is used to create full-blown HTTP services that only returns data, not view. In the ASP.NET Core application, the project or solution folder structure have been changed. The major changes is that the core project does not contain any web config file, like the previous ASP.NET Web Forms or MVC. In the ASP.NET Core project, we now use upsetting the JSON file. So in the previous version of ASP.NET, to be able to edit a project file, we will have to first unload the project from Solution Explorer. Then we can make the, our changes and then we will have to reload the project again. In ASP.NET Core, there is no need to unload the project to edit the project file. We can right-click on the project and select Edit. Another significant change is file or folder references are no longer included in the project file. In the previous version of ESP.NET, when we add a file or folder to the project using Solution Explorer, a reference to that file or folder is included in the project file. To add a file or folder, we select the project and click on Add New Item. Reference to that item is then included to the project file. All folders and files that are present in this root project are by default part of this project and will be displayed in the Solution Explorer. So now let's Take an example. So let's open the folder in File Explorer. And here we have uh, the project in the File Explorer. Now, if, if we add a bitmap image, it will be automatically added here also. So here, as you can see, we have the bitmap that image. And if we do some changes here, so for example, if you rename it to only image, here also we will have the changer. So let's delete this. As you can see, it's removed. The CS project stands for the c -Shop project. If we have selected the VB project, it will be VB project. So now let's open our MVC project and double click on the project to get the project.cs project. So here we have the target framework, which is 5.0 from the date of this video. This is the most recent framework. And here in the property group, we will have uh, the target framework and how it should be hosted and also uh, our references. So the reference will be package reference. So let's add a package to our project. In installed, new package is found. So let's browse. And let's add this new get package. So install. So here in our project, in item group package reference, we have the new get package that we have added. 
and the reference to the NuGet package that is installed for the application. So the packages installed in our project will be referenced in the CS approach. In the Solution Explorer, if we expand the dependencies, we will have analyzers, frameworks, and packages. And if we expand packages, we will see the packages newtonsoft.json, which we have just installed. And it will be here also. In the tab updates, we will have all the updates. So if the packages that we have installed uh, receive a new update, then we will get it in the updates tab. In the properties, we will have the launch settings.json. So here we have the properties of our application. And we will cover it uh, in depth later. Then we have the www root. So the www root folder represents the actual root of the web application when running on the web server. Static files such as HTML, JavaScript, CSS, images are normally stored in the www root file. So here, as you can see, we can add our CSS in the CSS folder and our JavaScript file in the JS folder. And then our library here, we can add our CSS library or JavaScript library here. We have our fave icon that I see you. This is our icon for this application. In addition, we have our model views and controller. So these are for the model view controller in our core project. Normally, if we open the blank project here, we don't have the model views and controller. So as I have selected the MVC template, so we will get the model views and controller. If we open the API project, we have controllers and we can also add our model if we want. We can configure our API like the MVC architecture, ex except that we won't have views. Now let's open the app settings the JSON file. Previously, we used the web.config to store our web configs. And in the ESP.NET Core, we use the app settings the JSON to store them. For example, connection string, we can store it in the app settings the JSON. These two files are very important in the ESP.NET Core. It is very important for you to know how these two files work. When our application is stored, it will go to the program.cs and then the program will call the startup.cs. We won't go in depth into the program.cs and startup.cs in this video, but what we need to know is that it consists of configuration for how the web app will get started. Actually, it's a console application that then runs a web application. If we have added identity in our project, we would have another folder, namely areas, where we will have our identity pages. And in the upcoming video, I will go more in depth into these files and folders. We have arrived at the end of this ASP.NET Core video tutorial. Stay tuned for the upcoming video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.